What's up everybody, I'm Random Frank P. Welcome back to episode 17 now of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. Special guest is going to be Carl Conrad from his YouTube channel, showing off all his tech behind the scenes. It's going to be a good one guys, as always, you know, we have a ton of cool setups planned. Let's kick off episode 17 now. Starting off now, we have a really nice dual monitor display. Those are two Dell 1440p monitors. I will put their information in the description down below. For peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard and the Logitech G502 Proteus Core gaming mouse. A very popular and great pair of headphones, the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pros and a late 2014 MacBook Pro. Inside his computer, he has the i7-4790K, the EVGA, GTX 980Ti, and 32GB of RAM. For console gaming when he wants, he has the Wii U, and he said he mainly plays Super Mario Bros. and Mario Kart. And he has the, uh, the Blue Yeti microphone, a very popular microphone as well. There's an overall a really nice submission from Team Crispy, I'd say. Very nice, high-quality photos to kick off the episode. Now you guys know, because I say it every episode, I like really nice and clean setups. And even more than that, I like black and white setups. So this one is just the key to my heart. I love everything about it and the way it's set up. The monitor there is a 27-inch BenQ monitor. I'll put it in the description down below as well. That is a Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid Eye keyboard with blue switches inside. And the Logitech's Performance MX Masters mouse, a really great, productive wireless mouse. Inside his computer, he has the NZXT S340 case, an i7 4790K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the EVGA GeForce GTX 960 graphics card, again with that black and white theme on the inside as well. Just overall, the way he has this entire room set up, very productive, there's a lot of room to do whatever he needs to do. It's very clean and simple, and like I said earlier, I love the black and white look. You can't go wrong with that. Just having everything so nice and neat as it is, it was definitely worthy for me to show off to you guys because I really, really like it, and as I always say, the simpler, the better. Even though I never said that before, I just said it now. Taking a look at this awesome living room setup, he has it split up into two separate sides. On the left hand side for his gaming rig and media center is a 65 inch TV and inside that PC is an i7-2600K, 8GB of RAM and a GTX 970 graphics card. Now over to his dedicated battle station, he has two Dell Ultra 24 inch monitors, they're ultra sharp, so they have a really nice display. That case is a Fantech Entho Evolve MATX case, inside it is the i7-4930K, 32GB of RAM and a GTX 960 graphics card, but a really nice desk setup, we have the ever so popular Corsair Gaming RGB keyboard with a Logitech keyboard as well, but really nice, I love the dual monitor setup here, and I just absolutely love living room setups with that massive, massive TV. Now a very unique setup, I love his desktop. Those are three LG IPS monitors. His keyboard is the CM Storm TK Stealth with MX Browns inside. For audio, we have the ATH M40X with the Lempi 2020A Plus for his amplifier. And those speakers, as you can see, those are actually 20 plus year old speakers from a Sony Hi-Fi system. They are mounted very nicely above his monitor so the audio is directly going towards him. And he has a custom, highly modded, as he says, uh, G25 from Logitech. Inside his PC, he has the i5 3570K, Gigabyte 970G1 gaming graphics card, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. But for his overall racing peripheral station here, he also has the Celtex X52 and the Microsoft Sidewinder 2, and a Track IR3. A Geno Smith jaw-dropping submission right here, I'm loving that PC, uh, but first off, the monitor is a 29-inch LG IPS monitor, the Myonix Avior 7000 mouse with a Logitech K360 keyboard, those speakers are custom ported with a high-end 4-inch uh, full, full range drivers with an amplifier of a 22 watt Class D Tripath amps, and just looking at the PC, he has it custom made, mounted to the wall, very nice, again going along with a really awesome looking black and white theme. I love setups like this, I'm um, going over some of his specs, he has the i5. 3570K, a Zotac 970 graphics card, and 8 gigabytes of RAM. But just, I, I always love when PCs are custom mounted like this. Very awesome. 
Next up is a winter themed submission with a black and white theme as well as blue. It looks really nice. We have a 29 inch LG ultra wide monitor mounted very nicely. A nice Bit Phoenix case here. Inside he has the Intel i7 4790K which is overclocked, EVGA GTX 980, some coarse head liquid cooling and a ton of hard drive space, but I'm really loving that PC. Underneath he has the Audio Engine D1 DAC for boosting his headphones. We have the Poker 2 keyboard in all white with the Corsair M95 mouse. Again, black and white, very nice looking peripherals here. And an overall fisheye view of his desk setup. We have the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro over there for extra productivity. Some Sennheiser Momentum cans here, a very popular choice among the audiophile community because they are very great sounding, and a can of Pioneer headphones, but just a really awesome winter themed setup here, and here's a shot in the dark. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, and I make videos on YouTube around technology. I'll throw in a vlog every once in a while, but right now we are hanging out in my studio, the place of zen where the magic happens, where I get to be super creative. So if you like what you see, head on over to my channel and let me know what you think. And I hope to catch the rest of you in another episode. We'll kick things off with the piece de resistance or the centerpiece of my setup. This is the 27 inch Retina 5K iMac. I got this right when it came out and I have the Intel Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM with four gigs of graphics RAM. It has the best performance that I've used for a desktop. Handles all of my 4K video without breaking a sweat. I choose to use, I switch back to the Apple wireless keyboard and trackpad just because they're easy to move around, wireless, and they fit in with the overall theme of being white. When I want to get a bit more in depth into my editing, I whip out my Razer Rat 5. And I love this, it's both a gaming mouse and can serve to be productive while I'm editing video. And you can change pretty much anything, the weight, the way the buttons are positioned, the actual macros, a great mouse, highly recommended. And although the Retina 5K iMac has pretty decent speakers, I chose to go with the Yamaha HS7s as studio monitors. These have fantastic sound, and I managed to snipe them on Craigslist for I think 300 bucks when they normally cost 250 a pair. And aside from the sweet sound, they look absolutely stunning. And beside the HS7s, I've got my second go-to computer, my traveling device. This is a 2012 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. I got this when I was in university and it's when the Retinas first came out. No problems once again with this machine, 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, fully upgraded as you can't upgrade MacBooks once they've been configured, everything is soldered into place. Hidden behind that is the brains responsible for all of the audio that you hear on the channel and that is the Apogee One audio interface and it powers both the microphone which you'll see in a bit and the HS7 speakers connects via USB to the back of the 5K. And behind that is actually one of my favorite pieces of tech, mainly because it's orange, and it's the Blue Lounge cable management box. It hides all of the messy cables into, of course, a little box, and it's only 15 bucks, I think. Up top, which is mostly out of view for these videos, is the microphone that I use, and it's the MKE 600 by Sennheiser. Great quality and it just lives on a boom pole and I just have a road cover over top in case I decide to hit it or damage it. And now we'll take a look at a few of the accessories that I keep on my desk. Just keep in mind that these aren't all of the tech things that I'd like to have. These are just a few things that are sitting and living at my desk at the moment. First off is the Nintendo 3DS XL limited edition bundle and this one came with Link Between Worlds. Currently playing Majora's Mask, my all-time favorite game. Phone of choice right now is a toss-up between the iPhone 6 Plus, the brand orange skin over top of that, and the Galaxy S6 for my Android device. My tablet of choice is the iPad Air 2, 64 gigs I believe of onboard storage in space gray, keeping it nice and simple. And taking a quick look behind me, what you guys usually see, this is part of the set, I guess. This is where I keep all of my GoPro accessories. 
And last but not least is the artwork, Majora's Mask, and Zelda related stuff. All right, guys, that's going to do it now for episode 17. Hope you all enjoyed. And again, big thank you to Carl for showing off his setup. Um, he's got a great YouTube tech channel going on. I'll put his link in the description down below. You can check him out. I definitely recommend doing so. If you want to submit your very own setup to be possibly featured on the show, submit me one high quality photo to the email rtpsubmission at gmail.com. If you like this video and you want to see many more, definitely give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you have any questions, you can comment down below or hit me up on Twitter at randomfrankpeak. Definitely give me a follow on there. And if you haven't already, guys, definitely hit subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos in the past, and if you like the Room Tour project series, we got a lot more planned for the future. Some really awesome guests coming up, so you're not going to want to miss out. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed episode 17. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.